Greetings, this is J. Peter Brzezzi, and in this lesson we're going to discuss how to configure Layer 7 virtual services. Okay, so let's get started. So at this point you can see the flexibility here with your load master in virtual services because even though we initially configured this virtual service to use and operate at layer 4, at this point let's say our circumstances have changed or our desire has changed and we want to use additional services that the load master offers only through layer 7 load balancing. And so layer 7 working at the application layer offers us a great deal more flexibility and more feature set. So if we want to change this now, we don't have to create a new one. We can actually just select the checkbox to force layer 7 now for this same virtual service. And now you can see we're no longer operating at layer 4. Now we're operating at layer 7. And the transparency option has returned as well. So at this point, we've changed the operation of our virtual service from layer 4 to layer 7. Now we did that manually by selecting the checkbox. However, if we enabled certain features that required layer 7, it would automatically have adjusted this to layer 7. For example, secure socket layer acceleration that you see down at the bottom there. If we had enabled that, it would automatically switch us from layer 4 to layer 7. So at this point we're looking at the transparency settings. Now if your network is configured in such a way so that transparency doesn't work with your connection between your client and server, perhaps it breaks the connection and causes issues in that regard, you can actually turn off the transparency here, which again is something you can't do with layer 4. You cannot turn off that transparency, but with layer 7 you have that added flexibility that with a click of a button you can turn the transparency off. So another thing to keep in mind is that in addition to your ability here to turn transparency on and off, there's something else that is different with layer 7 virtual services and that is that regardless of whether or not you have transparency on or off when you go to the server itself and you check to see the options that you have for forwarding let's actually do that and we click add new you can see here that the forwarding method is also different so we no longer have the ability to do direct server return layer 7 virtual services no longer allow for the direct server return because ultimately it's not a necessity here. So that's pretty much your overview of virtual service configuration uh, obviously at a deep level because it required so much background material first before diving in here to see these few options but now that you understand the options and you understand the background information on how they're selected and why you would select certain ones why you would go with layer 4 over layer 7 and so forth. Now you'll be able to put that to practice in your own environment because obviously each environment is going to be a little bit different. So your design and deployment of load balancing services is going to be different in each case. So hopefully this overview and then the configuration options here gives you a lot to go on for your own design and deployment. So we hope you found this informative. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next lesson.